Hello everyone. Welcome to Zoho Sales IQ. In this video, we will be looking at data blocks and how to use them in the Codeless Bot Building platform. Data blocks are used to get contextual information such as name, email, phone, and more from the visitor. This is the Codeless Bot Builder. Click on the plus icon to view the block gallery. Now scroll down to data blocks section. There are five blocks available in data blocks name, email, phone, company, and visitor fields. We will look into each block one by one. First, the name block. This is used to get the name of the visitor. Select the block, drag and drop it on the bot builder. Give a name to the card on the name text box. Then, provide the text or message that you want to display to the visitor in message text box. You can check the allow visitor to skip option to make the question optional for the visitor. Then configure the hint text, default value and error message. You can add an image or a picture to enrich your response. And finally, click on save. Now your block will be added to the bot builder. Similarly, email block is used to get the email from the visitor. Drag and drop the email block to the bot builder. Then provide the card name, a message that you want to display to the visitor. Provide a hint text, default value and error message, then click on save. Next, the phone block is used to get phone numbers from the visitors. Drag and drop the phone block and configure all the inputs required. You can choose the country code as per your need or geolocation and click on save. The next is company block. This can be used to get the company name from the visitors. Configure the details and then click on save. Finally, the visitors field block this block is used to get custom details from the visitors. Drag and drop the visitor fields block in the bot builder. Here, you can edit the bot response message or text. I'm going to type in, please type your issue here. You can select the data type in which you want your visitor's response for this question. There are other data types like email, phone, URL, number and password. In this case, we'll go with string. After choosing data type, Click on save. Then we'll use an end card to end the conversation and look at the output of these blocks. So initially the bot asks for name using the name block, email using the email block, phone number company name and finally the issue details using the visitor fields. We hope you found this helpful. Happy Zoboting! Thank you!